out the grass today. Looks pretty darn good. There we go. Look at that. It's not bad. Oh, dead right here, but it's not too bad. So where are we going today? Mm, I'm gonna go down by the park first. Okay. Just so that you got a, a route that you want to do, you know? Mm -hmm. There we go. My thing is always like, um, I go down to the park first, so by the time I get down there, I have an idea she, of what else I want to do. Hey, um, go like this if uh, if you can't see, kind of push on it, the mirror itself, and you need to move. No. Oh, you need, a, you need it to go that way? Yeah. Okay. Grab it like this with your thumb, your hand on the back of the mirror and push it with your thumb. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then there we go. If you need it to go down a little bit, grab the bottom corner and kind of push it. Okay. Okay. I can see better now. It was just pointed too far this way okay. where I could see too much. So you much can see like the some of the side of the truck and the other lane good yeah. okay before and you can I see could, out of this one good yeah okay before i could mainly see the back of the truck and that's why i readjusted it like this okay there is nobody coming right? yep okay i think the uh window i used the most okay. actually are the mirrors the rear view there's mrs f buddy yeah she's pretty homely look at that woman mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the mirror I use the most is this one up here. That's good. You can see good out of that one now, right? Yeah. It also has this uh, uh, feature on the mirror. Mm -hmm. On this mirror up here. Yeah, like if you're driving at night and somebody's behind you and the fucking lights are in your face. Mm -hmm. You can go like this for a second, watch it. And it puts oh. it up. And then when you pull away and it's not fucking you over anymore, you just... That's nice. And it doesn't readjust it, right? Nope. It just lifts it up so that it's out of your face. That's what that's for. Mm -hmm. It's like, fucker. Yeah, this car has some pretty cool features. Hey, I should. I was gonna watch it, but I didn't last night. But the guy that does the video uh, videos of the old TV commercials, mm -hmm. he was doing a live transfer from VHS. Really? Yeah. So that must be what he does: is have old VHSs that they recorded shows, oh. and just recorded the commercials too. And then he goes in between the shows that are on and gets the commercials. That's cool. Yeah, he says live transfer from VHS. And it was like 114 watching. And I should have clicked on it just to see what he's talking about. Uh -huh. Maybe he'd be like, since I recorded these back in the 80s, I could use this. Or, you know, I don't know how he gets around it. Because uh -huh. he's got thousands of views and a huge, you know, he's getting paid. Yeah. And that's why he makes those videos, because he's getting paid. I think so how does he do it? I think the difference is that with songs, the artists are still what's, like, What's the know? fair use policy? Have you ever looked into that? It's like if someone's reacting, if someone's doing the content. Okay. Well, I thought purposes. they were turning in. I was like, make sure you leave them room. No, if I saw that they didn't have their life. If using the content for the purpose of like reacting to it, then that's fair use, basically. I think hmm. with... The commercials. I think the thing is um, that uh, commercials probably have copyrights on them for not as long as like songs right. and stuff do because like yeah, they're only on TV for so long, you know, yeah, and some of the sure. items aren't even around anymore. Right. Yeah. Well, that's that's then, exactly uh, what he does is stuff like that. Like, exactly. The commercials are from the eighties. The copyright must have expired. Yeah. So then it's it's just fair use, any of that material? I think so, yeah. Because it's like so old and it's for items that aren't even around anymore. So no one's losing money. I think the difference is if you post like, you know, uh, music on YouTube, uh, people could be listening to that music like, 
like elsewhere, like Spotify, Apple Music, places that oh, like right. pay the artist for it. Yeah. And YouTube, unless you're using YouTube Music and you're specifically using uh, like the one that came from that artist, they don't get any money for it. Yeah, it's all about monetary. Yep. And uh, residuals. Lars. It's all because of Lars from Metallica. Two huge speakers, and it's crazy because the front of them uh -huh. were shaped kind of like bullets, and the back, the speaker was in the back, and uh, they were chrome. Oh they looked gosh. super sweet. Uh, if it stays like this, you'll be fine, as long as it just doesn't storm. Yeah. Like this, I said, even if it drizzles fine. rain a little bit, I don't care, but if there's lightning, they're going to shut down all the rides. And that's mainly what we're going for, rides and, like, food. It's been a long time since we've been to a carnival. Mom told me the last time must have been when I was, like, two or three, because it was before Joey was born. I remember we went to probably the one she was thinking of. I, uh, I put your hair on to, like... I don't know, 30 little ponytails. Oh my gosh. So like the whole top of your head was like little sprouts everywhere. That's like little, so cute. Like little ponytails. Uh-huh. Ponytail. Ponytail. Look at that little dove on the fence. Oh, look, they paved that. Oh, that's nice. Fresh. Huh? Look at it, it's all wet still. Mm -hmm. Or it looks wet still. It's dry, but not dry, you know? Yeah. It's dry, dry but if you drove wet. your car on it, yeah. it probably wouldn't be good. Yeah, it's dry, but not soaked. The folks just saw us go by. <laughs> uh, I love you, though. She's so funny. She probably gets so pissed when I go out for my trips because she can see me. I keep coming back by the house. Uh, she's probably bar uh, jumping on your mom right now. And your mom's probably like, what, did you see her go by? <laughs> did you see her go by? After you go over these bumps, make sure you turn your blinker on all the way because yep. this dickhead behind you was about to cut you off already. Something. It's got his chop saw out. Oh, we're putting a new front deck on. Oh, that's nice. But the car oh. isn't behind me anymore. That uh -huh. was making me nervous. Whole new front porch on that place. Look his chop saw. We gotta repave this road soon. Yeah, you can see it's all bare. Yeah, and that's. It's got like runs in it. Yeah, there's a bunch of cracks. Oh, slow down. Slow down, kids. Yeah. You never know, they could come running out for a ball or something. Especially those little ones, they don't look at all. They just go, there's my ball. You know? Yeah.
storm, but it hasn't started. into anybody else's car. Exactly. It's not like we can just reattach it anyways. If it looks like it's about to fall off, we'll pull it off before it ends up causing an accident. Yeah. Or else it looks like it's going to make it. I'll put a lot of tape on it. I've seen people with their entire like back windows taped on, so. Oh. <laughs> Actually, a little bit ago, me and mom, we saw uh, some people driving and they didn't even have a back window. Uh, oh. They had like a tarp taped over it, <laughs> pretty much. Um, it was on a day when it was raining a lot too, so I was like, that sucks for them. Cause yeah, they had like a tarp taped over their entire back windshield. It's in San Francisco, there's a, a problem with people's cars just getting broken into if you park it in. Really? Yeah. Jacob said he has warned about it. And uh, he said he didn't think it would happen. And it came did. back to his car, his window was smashed, his shit was gone. Oh my God. And he lost a lot of stuff. And he goes, I travel in my car, that's like my office, so I just leave stuff in there. Because it's easy access, you know? Mm -hmm when I'm traveling and stuff, and we just stopped at this one. I can't remember what place they stopped at, some attraction, you know? Mm -hmm. So they're in there for a little while. Came out and fucking, his car had been broken into. Jeez. And he goes, and everybody told me, uh, there were signs everywhere even. Don't leave your valuables in your car. It will get broken into. And then you know what they actually told him when he reported it? Maybe next time you could just leave your car unlocked so that if there's something in there they want, they won't break the window, they could just take it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's how bad the problem is. They're like, well, you know, so you don't cost yourself any other money. You might just want to leave your car unlocked next time. So they so can they just, just take yeah, it? Yeah, take what they want. Instead of breaking your windows, they can just open the door and take and what he goes, they want. And they were suggesting things like, um, if you don't have anything in your car, to, uh, um, you know, some cars have the back seat uh -huh. that goes into the trunk. Yeah. Like the bugs. He said they suggest you just lay the seat down so they know there's nothing in there and they can clearly see there's nothing or else it will get broken into for no reason. Oh my god. Yeah. So their problem is really that bad. Yeah. That they're giving public announcements about what you could do to minimize your damage. Not prevent your damage, not prevent it, but And minimize. not prevent your stuff from getting stolen. They're saying it's more worth it to have your stuff stolen. Than to ha cost yourself money, more money. Oh my gosh. I wonder why the problem is so bad. I'm like, is it a certain group of people that's doing this? Or is it just a bunch of people that are... I'm sure they know it's like just a group of people. Yeah, that they're I'm smashing like, and grabbing. Some and, kind of like gang activity. And that's what they're or... doing for a living. Yeah. And, you know, they ain't got no cops anymore because in California, it's, oh, slow down for these. Yeah. It's huge uh, defund the police. I mean, they cut the police's budget and then they're, they're cutting it even more now, even with all the crime going on. So there ain't no cops anywhere to do any patrolling on the streets. So they're working in an area over here making sure shit ain't happening. People are robbing over here. They come over here to investigate stuff. People are robbing where they just were. Are you gonna go that way? Yeah. Weaker. Okay, pull up so you can see around this car. No, around this car. Right about there. Okay, wait for this car since it's coming. You know, he's doing 45. I think this road's 45. So yeah. right after this car goes by, pull out. Yeah. Thank you. 
good. You're gonna get there. You're gonna be easy. The more practice we do, you're gonna be just fine. Yeah. Up to 45, you can lay off the gas. This thing close pretty good, too. Yeah, it does. It doesn't slow down super fast when you're just coasting, which is nice. It's nice that you don't have to keep babying it. before the light changes. Because you don't want to be waiting for all those people. song for elementary school was the uh, uh, thing like Mickey Mouse thing but just with the words for our school really? or the letters for like the because I went to Valley View uh -huh. elementary so yeah it was the singing the letters to the school name to the theme of Mickey Mouse oh my God. that was our school song it was Valley View Valley View <laughs> like Mickey Mouse you know uh -huh. yeah It was V A L L A Y V I E W. Oh yeah, like God. Mickey Mouse, you know? Uh huh. <laughs> That's what all the kids used to do in assemblies and stuff. Anyway, I swear, sometimes, it, like when I was in school, it sometimes was like the wall. You see all the kids chanting in the group, 
like in the audience, mm-hmm. and they're all chanting. Yeah, it's pretty much how it was when I was school. Let's do the school song, we're all in assembly. Well, I mean, that's how it is going to assemblies in high school. See the cold classes. That's a semi that that is that semi that pulled straight out at you the other night. Yeah. Like right at your face. You yeah, remember where those kids were playing good? Yeah. You don't want the mama duck coming off the porch squawking. I remember those those were ducks, right? That was a duck with all the little ducklings? Mm-hmm. Like a brown duck? Yeah. Yeah, this is about the right speed to cruise through. There's another kid on the driveway over here. Be careful, because he just got home. Oh, come see Dad. Daddy! He, he's a respected father, obviously. Slow down because this guy's gonna turn into a traveler. Slow way down. Slow down so he doesn't have to wait for you. Oh, fuck. I got you, bro. Okay, go ahead. Go. He's waiting for you now. Okay. I was confused because we both stopped and that's why I started going again. Oh, that's her. I wonder if he's got the blue one. Maybe. Huh. Maybe she's driving his. I know they got two. Or maybe it's like our cars that don't matter. Maybe. I just always thought the black one was his. People think the black one's mine, I guess, too. So. Same thing, huh? They're like, is that orange one hers? I'm like, they're both, both of us. Oh. Things are gonna break once we start using this again. So. Yeah. I remember your grandma when she bought us that black car and asked if she could give it to us. She said, I'm just tired of seeing Joe working on cars all the time. You guys need two good cars to have. <laughs> and then now I'm gonna be working on the car again. Yeah. <laughs> it's alright. I'll put your stereo back in. I got it going so you can start driving it. Yeah. So I'll be just fine. Renting on cars again. Mm-hmm. And driving it really day or every day really does keep the battery up. Yeah. I asked Bob about that battery thing that he Robert put in his van because his van kept going dead. Uh huh. And uh, he said it works great. I said, did it work? He said, it works great. And that would just be like every now and then when you're at home and you're home for the night, you just plug it in. You don't have to, it's just like a cord, you know? Mm-hmm. And it like tops off the battery overnight. It's called like a battery tender. Can't wait for this guy. Okay. Okay. 
Wow, look at those tires. It's one of those bikes. Robert said he uh, he couldn't, and Robert's a uh, long time mechanic, 60, 50 years, you know. Yeah. He told me, um, I don't know what was killing Bob's daughter. I couldn't figure it out. He said, so I gave up and just put one of those in it. He goes, just do that, Joe, because he goes, you, you know, I, I couldn't figure out what was going on with Bob's. Uh -huh. He goes, so I put one of those in it, and he goes, and they worked fine. Definitely fixes the problem. He just told me how to, you know, you just buy it and he tells you how to put it in and you run the cord like in the grill. Mm -hmm. So where you just have to pull out just a little part of the cord, it's in the front grill so it's not dangling anywhere. Mm -hmm. And then you slow down. This is a crosswalk. And then uh, you plug it in at night. stuff I, that I did, like pull fuses out. I had my tester hooked up. Oh. Okay, just wait until you get a light, unless you get a good gap, okay? Yeah. All right, that guy's turning, so if he slows down like he is going to turn, then he could pull out after this truck. Okay, go ahead. He's kind of, I've got an eyeball, so it's not like his boot was stuck on accidentally. Yeah. Like I was driving the other night, I didn't realize it, you know? Uh-huh. But if it, if it clearly looks like he's slowed down to turn, then, you know, you could go. Because yeah. if there's anybody right behind him, they got to wait for him to turn, so you got your chance. like a rodeo ride in this truck. Yeah, and he rode for longer than eight seconds, so he deserves like a, one of those championship belts for holding this thing on the road. Blinker. Slow down a little. Okay, go ahead and stop. Go ahead and stop. Okay, they're gonna get it if they get an arrow again. Nope, they didn't. See, you gotta always watch. Last time they got an arrow, so you had a free shot. Yep. You can't always assume, you just gotta look at the signals, okay? So pull up some so you can see around the corner. You can't see who's coming. Even more. Way more. Okay. And then. Go ahead, go ahead you got a shot now. I go after go through the light. Okay, wait, you got a guy coming up on on your left side, just let him go by. Oh no, go ahead and get over to your left. Oh, wait, no, never mind. We'll just go back around.
camera now. Slow way of it. You're going too fast. There you go. Good job. Yeah, corners come up quick, you know, they come up on you. So what the fuck was that sound? I was like, I know you didn't run nothing over. I'm gonna turn down that cherry driver. You go a little further by the fire station to come back by the park. You wanna go a little bit longer? I'll do that. I know where that road is. Yeah. That'd be a little bit longer on the drive. We're doing good on time, right? What time is Kaylee supposed to be there? I have no idea. We should be doing good on time. That's going to only be a couple more minutes. Yeah. I'll be just fine. This is 40, so you can go speed up a little bit. We've got a little ways for the road. Oh, I see where it is up there. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was coming up way sooner than it actually is. Huh. That's why I started slowing down. <coughs> These are a little nicer than the old ones. They're not as big. Yeah. They're flatter and they're not as, they don't bam, you know? Yeah. Like I said in the van, they're, it's, they're set up perfect. I could get right on, you know, right over it. And you could barely feel it in the van. It's just like. Rance lives down one of these birches. Huh. Can't remember what birch it was. since I've done that too. Mm -hmm. Oh, that oh. one was hard. I, I think I've done it before in this, but I usually mostly used to use it in the Camaro mm -hmm. and uh, in the van because those are the cars we used all the time. Yeah. But I'm, I may have put it in this one time since we've had it, but I don't think I have. But yeah, you'll notice the difference on how it accelerates and, and all that stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe it won't growl as much when it accelerates. Huh. Might take it might take off a little smoother. I don't think it needs like plugs or wires or anything like that, you know. Uh -huh. But a good fuel system cleaning is good for any vehicle, you know. Yeah. Plus, like I said, better mileage is definitely helpful. Right yeah, now. this is a gas hog, so that would help out a bit. Uh -huh. Maybe I'll check the air filter too. The air filter in this one's real easy. actually have one that's in a little box on the side. So, you know, we could even do that, change the air filter, run some of that 44K through. Doing really good. at 
35 minutes. Straight out your little little bit, turn it back a little. Just a little, yeah. Yay! Cool, and the mirror looked like it survived. It did. Cool. It didn't even like move around a whole bunch yeah, of I'm glad I did that because I didn't want you driving without anything. And I was like, let me see if I could tape it. Because yeah. mm, that would have been I don't terrifying. care, that looks ghetto. It's about safety right now. Yeah. Just roll it up to the tape, okay? Don't cut the tape with the mirror. Yeah. And then, uh,. Like I said, I'll, I'll fix it so it doesn't get rain in here. That's good. There we go. Good job today. Thank you. You did a lot of driving. Yeah. Oh, oh sorry, buddy. Forgot about yeah. your shoulder, bro. Oh, okay. Oh, move right. Love you. <laughs> Love you. Oh.